Maybe it should look pretty cool. I've got, okay, I'm going to go live. Like, do you want to go on just, oh no, can they hear then? If I'm going to, shit, I have to turn the sound off. Um, I've just, I don't, yeah, I don't want them to uh, hear us chatting in advance. Oh.
Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Um, even with two people that we've actually got here today. Oh, God, I'll see my phone a little bit loud. Let me know if I'm too loud. Um, but we've got joining us two of YouTube's finest uh, celebrities, certainly the most famous Tasmanian Zero AD player in the whole world, um, and that's Alistair Findlay. And we've also got uh, the Zero AD's premier commentator, and that is Jim, uh, Jim Cogan, or, or Mystic Jim, uh, you know, Mystic Jim Newbie Rush man. So, say hello, when guys. Did, when did I become the premier commentator? That's news to me. Uh, whenever you started, <laughs> I suppose. Maybe not um, like your very first ones, but certainly, <laughs> well, in this household anyway. So you've got me, uh, my wife that occasionally gets, unfortunately, has to watch these things because I've got them on while, and I've, we've got like a joint kitchen living room uh, set up. Uh, so yeah, she <laughs> she's unfortunately has to watch some of them and she likes your voice because um, very Bristolian um, and we, we like Bristol, so that's good. Um, so yeah, like just for everyone who's in there, all uh, of the people that are currently watching, oh, collab with Jim Alistair Dope. That's, that's good. Dope is like the opposite of whack for people that... Um, uh, no, dope meant something else when I was at college, dude. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's yeah, it's it's a hip hop speak for the for the youngsters. They they like it. So if things are good, then they're dope. If they're bad, then they're whack. So I've uh, I've learned. I feel like I've uh, given uh, some extra knowledge there. But anyway, <laughs> just to say, so what's going to happen tonight is we will be playing some games and stuff later. But first of all, um, and this is where. It may or may not work. I've managed to do some transitions so far, so let's see if I can transition to the poll that we had earlier. And I've just realized I should have loaded up uh, Google in advance. So um, speak. Well, you, um, Alistair and Jim, why don't you talk a little bit about what your findings are of Alpha 24 so far before we start going into the, um, the, the games and things? I'm going to defer first of all to Alistair on this one because I'm I'm interested in in what you got to say. Good. Is Alistair there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, the meadow was getting stale. The meadow was getting ridiculously stale. It was just Britons, uh, Gauls, Ptolemies, maybe one or two other civilizations, and now the meta game is literally every civilization even though uh britons and gauls and ptolemies are maybe a little bit lower uh tiered than pretty much all the other civilizations now even they are still getting some play even the lowest tiered uh civilizations are still getting play like everybody's still trying to figure out what's good what's bad how to counter archers i don't know it's 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 good it's re revitalized it's great yeah cool. i'd say i I completely agree with uh, what you said that I found it's completely thrown me like I think it like head basically head over to um, was it uh, oh god it's not even that late it's eight o'clock but my son woke me up really early this morning though so, yeah it's completely thrown it on its head for me that's what I meant to say um, yeah archers have gone from being the worst units to the best slingers have gone from being the best to well, I'm not really sure if they're good or not anymore it's yeah, it's been a bit um, crazy. And that's reflected, beautiful segue, in the poll, which should now be on your screens. Um, you'd see that the the archer sieves are the one that people were most interested in hearing about. So that's what we're going to be playing with today. So we've got um, the Morians, Kushites, and Persians. So I'll, um, I mean, Jim, have you played with any of these yet, actually? Uh, I briefly played with the Persians in a slightly aborted team game yesterday, and I was rubbish at the Persians in Alpha 23, and uh, it appears I was even worse in <laughs> Alpha 24. Okay. I think with, with regard to Alpha 24, I think um, I, I'm looking for positives, and I, there are certain things I do like about it. I like the, the look of it. Um, and... But there are also a few things that I I, I don't know whether I'm just going to take time to get used to. Um, 
that there is obviously the slower, slightly slower pace of it. And I think yeah. the sound does come under a bit of criticism. You know, the the the, the new kind of sound sort of uh, scaping and and some of the new sound effects and stuff. I'm I'm feeling at the moment that it's ever so slightly lost the the sort of sense of drama about it. But it's an unfair criticism because I I haven't got any mods working to do commentaries. Yeah, I that makes feel a if difference. I if I sat down and did a proper commentary with all the mods and see all the populations, I'd probably get into it straight away. But I've been struggling so because I haven't had a lot of time to play it. And I'm still getting used to how it looks, how it sounds, and and very much how it plays. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm trying to be trying to be even on it at the moment. <laughs> no. Okay, well, I think it's yeah, it's one of those interesting sort of things. It, it is very very different, and I think we'll probably only really know after a few weeks, and maybe even longer than that, when people have really got into it. The the thing that I have really noticed is something that you've touched on there. It it's much slower. Uh, and rushes don't appear to be like the the ability to to micromanage stuff is has been massively reduced with the kind of addition of the kind of turning circles and things. So you can't kind of run in your handful of um, cavalry and micro them brilliantly around, div- avoiding all the arrows, and then get them out having killed fifteen villagers. It just doesn't work that way anymore. Um, so I can see if you were previously someone that had. Um, you know, was exceptional at micro, then you definitely are going to be a bit annoyed because you've probably lost something that you had previously. Uh, certainly one of your big advantages. Uh, that said, if like me, uh, you found that you could do the first part of the game and develop quickly. And then as soon as you got into the micro bit, you ended up just kind of panicking. Uh, then you would find that having that kind of reduced pace gives you a little bit more thinking time than you would have done otherwise. Otherwise, I mean, I certainly felt in games in the past that it was just getting away from me very, very early on, like 18 minutes in or something. You just like, okay, this game could go on for another 15 minutes, but it's, it's gone. Like I'm gradually getting steamrolled. Whereas now I do feel like, Oh, I feel like I can turn this round. I can look at something, but certainly if you're watching like the very best players, they're all, by that kind of level of um yeah back and forth has certainly uh decreased it it was it used to be like on about minute two or three there would be raids going backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and it doesn't appear to be quite like that so much anymore um so i say you've been playing with uh morians have you or have i got that wrong i've been playing a whole bunch of stuff anybody with archers i've actually noticed that kushites are quite good now which is is good to see yeah it was i did um i did a video on the proposed changes and all the things that were put forward like basically turning them into a proper archer faction i really liked and they do appear to have worked out really well uh, the only thing that really stands out for them as opposed to um the other two archer factions is their elephants are uh, um, African elephants rather than Indian elephants. And the, one of the um, the elephant templates reduced everything by like uh, 10%, so all the stats, and the other elephant template pushed them up by 10%, I think it was. But that actually mm. makes a massive difference. Like if you do an attack with uh, Mauryan elephants or Persian elephants, they destroy everything. But if you do it with Kushites, which I tried, I was like, how the hell is this not working? Um, this seemed to be working brilliantly previously. And then I realized that, oh, the elephants are like, you know, 25% weaker. So that was the reason why. Um, anyway, uh, enough chat then. Shall we? I've just transferred theoretically anyway into the program. Hopefully that's worked. Um, if people in the chat can let me know that that has worked, then that would be good. Um, and there are some people that wanted to play. Um, and there's one of them, uh, Depict. Okay, I'm going to set up a game. Do you want to play Depict, Alistair? Sure. Lovely stuff. So I'll comment uh, to an extent, but I will uh, do the best I can to, to let Jim, if Jim's able to... Um, well, I'm just yeah. trying to get into the into the game lobby now. Oh, is, is it too up. busy? Right. No, I'm there. So there's a game called uh, Depict. So Depict's game. Here we go. Let's check. Is uh, 
Well, the one thing we seem to be missing is depict himself. <laughs> he, he was in the <laughs> thing. Oh, Leopard 12 is uh, asking, a, has got something just called saying, hi, Mystic Jim. So I don't know if he's got a question for you. Maybe he was here. I saw him. I literally. Oh, there he is. He's just he joined. joined. He has joined. Okay. Um, right. I'll just let Deepik know. Um, there you go. I just Alistair, are you really going to be able to play this with me whittering in your ear live? This is going to be torture. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can mute it if you want. <laughs> If yeah, if no, you don't no, want to no, hear no, the horrific, so RD Pict is listening to the screen. Why on earth would he possibly <laughs> do Alistair, why the hell are you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so D Pict is going to leave the stream so that he can um, yeah, join the game properly. Uh, and I think it's it's only fair. I was going to say that he would have an advantage, but actually he would have like a five or ten second delay. So if he thought he knew more about what was going on, by watching the stream, you really wouldn't. I reckon but, you might want to limit the observers on this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, where are the, oh, do I have to do that outside the game? Uh, I think... Can I get into options from here? I don't know if I can. Is there another way around it? Um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. How many observers have we got? We've only got a couple at the moment. We... YouTuber party. Oh, Katarina, absolutely, it's a YouTuber party. It should be on YouTube watching it. What the hell's wrong with, uh, I'm going to say her, actually, because that is a female's name, but perhaps, perhaps not. So is he picked? Oh, look at that. We've got, oh, got someone who's going to join the YouTuber club of Zero AD. So we're going to have Yekaterina, possibly a Russian, or certainly uh, someone that speaks if not Russian, some Russic language. I would have thought Alistair versus Yekaterina. Okay, depict we're waiting for it. So Alistair, I was going to do... You want to be Morians, right? Yeah. If, okay, and depict civilization, come on. Um, it's Archer Civs. Oh, no, loads of people are joining. Okay, you're right. We should have um, stopped that. <laughs> okay. Who's the actual host? Is it you? Tom? Me. It is me. Okay, DP is going to be Kush. Can I... How do I... Oof. If I just type ban, doesn't it ban them? Oh, I feel really bad to do that, but... Um, <laughs> let's see what happens. Well, we'll wait till we get into the game, and if anybody is, like, making the game lag, then get rid okay. of them, maybe. Ask them first, but... Yeah. Okay. Oh, your Katarina's left. Maybe, maybe he or she was watching the stream and then felt that it was the right thing to do. Are you ready to? Are you are you ready to ready up? Can you ready up, please, Alistair? Oh yes, of course. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go, uh, stream people. I just pressed Ugh. the button, expecting something more than that to happen. Then I wouldn't need to keep talking, but that wasn't the case. Ooh, oh, Ironil, keep it. We've got an interesting biome. So I'm assuming you're watching, Jim. I am watching. Oh. Okay, so, so we've got no berries. Oh, okay. Uh, Alistair. Oh no, they're to... right there. I see them. <laughs> That's my criticism number one. I can't see the berries. <laughs> yeah. That well, these ones were always difficult to see, but um, certainly the even the ones with the the red berries on are, are more difficult to see nowadays than they were um, in the past. Okay, so let's have a look. It feels like Alistair shouldn't be listening at this point. It's, you know, he's going to get... <laughs> um, he's at an advantage. Um, so... Mm, I can... Uh... <laughs> you can... That's okay. We've got to commentate on it without actually yeah, saying we're, what's happened. We're giving nothing away. <laughs> You've really <laughs> thought this through, Tom. Oh, my word. Okay, what yeah, this is... Goes... Oh, dear. Yeah, There's that's... There's an attack about to come in right away. <laughs> Yeah, and with there being only two players, I think Alistair will be able to work out whether it's him or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Uh, well, let's have a look. So, um, I'm just doing this. Population's very, very similar at this early stage. If we look around the map, um, Alistair, can you not, <laughs> can you mute or something? Because I do feel bad for DP. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, Jim, hopefully, Alistair, actually, I could just kick him out of the chat, but. 
that seems mean. I think we'll want to be back later. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll yeah. Be all right. So our headphones are off. So now Alistair can't actually get um, any of the so sounds he, for so the game. So he says. So he says. <laughs> well, if he is, he's now at a massive disadvantage. He won't know whether he's attacked or not. Right. So what have, all right. what have we, we noticed go. so far, Alistair, um, Jim? So I've seen Deepix just move slightly ahead, 24 to 14 in population. Uh, the so, map is horrible. Uh, there's a few... Are these wildebeest? I think they are. They're blue wildebeest. So there are a few patches of blue wildebeest around. And they may have been changed. I don't know if you noticed. Actually, if you only played it once, you wouldn't have done. But the muskox in the alpine or arctic map or whatever it's called, they used to just stand there and let you kill them. They don't anymore. They run away. Have they got new animations now? They look... Uh, all the animals look a lot nicer. That's yeah, the... yeah. So interestingly, I don't think... I think they've got a dying animation, but they don't have a running animation. They still kind of slide um <laughs> which is a bit strange so it wasn't what i expected i thought because they used to just stand there they were there i mean there's a guy called uh el dragon who always plays on that because he's so aggressive so he always uses that um that uh biome to make sure that he gets the uh the the animals that don't run basically uh which means he can do a um a good uh rush uh, but I think if he was still doing that, then his his game is up. He's been rumbled, uh, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's a strange um, same one. But there's a lot of wildebeest around. And I think based on what Alistair is doing, he's killed some of them. I don't think they look like they've run very far. So Deepik is just starting to scout a bit now. He's using, actually, his Kush. They do have this, they start with a healer, which is, is new. And Deepik is... It's quite clever what he's doing. I'm not sure if you're um, seeing it, Jim, but he's, he's used the horse to use the extra vision to get like lots and lots of um, like vision. But the little uh, areas that have still been left unexplored, he's using the healer for. So okay. it's very smart. It's a nice little trick. Alistair still scouted very little, very, very little. So he's going to need to, oh, uh, yeah, get a some something going on so both have gone for very little in the way of um army so to speak yeah i tell you what i'm so missing all my mods i'm having to flick yeah. between the two sieves to see what i know has got absolutely and it's drives you drives me mad like not yeah being able to just do that i thought that that would you know be able to be ported across but um having said that i was chatting to a guy and i've forgotten his name now um, who was making mods and was making uh, like a an auto civ style mod uh, where you basically the thing where I was really interested in was like you can't do a random mirror match like you could in Age of Empires. So I like the idea that you want to play randomly, but at least you're both playing the same faction, so you don't end up with one of you getting a top tier faction and the other one getting a really awful faction, and then you're stuck. Um, with a really uneven kind of um, match. Uh, but that's strange. That hasn't been incorporated. But he was going to put that into a mod. But, um, the other thing that his uh, mod was going to do was allow you to select a list of... Um, so uh, have like a kind of tick list of, I want random, but only from these factions. Okay. So you could say, for instance, I just want the archer sieves, and you'd go and tick Morians, Kushites, and uh, the other one, Persians. And then that would be um, a guaranteed way of just getting one of those three. So I think that um, they would both be nice additions. It's one of those things. My JavaScript is um, pretty poor, um, but apparently they can just be made in JavaScript. So right. I think we could be on the verge of getting some action fairly soon. I'm trying to orientate <laughs> my screen to how you've got it. You've got red on the left and blue on the right. Is that yeah, right? That's right. What, are you the other way around? Uh, I'm. If you ever watched any of mine, I'm top to bottom normally. I, oh. I, I always, I Ooh. cannot play unless I'm at the bottom attacking the top. I, <laughs> it's just one of those things with me. You'll always see it in all the commentaries. I'll have one oh. at the top and one at the bottom. I uh, have no idea. I never, yeah. never rotate the map. Always keep it consistent. Me. So uh, keeping it consistent go. makes it easy. So we've got Alistair coming in now. 
I could say. He's got six cavalry, and he's up. Big, well, depicts cavalry are well out of the picture at the moment. They're picking up wildebeest. So he's completely oblivious, isn't he? He's all hunting. He certainly is. He, he's not aware of that. And Alistair, unfortunately, has kind of given himself away by destroying a storehouse when he could get in there and actually... He's got almost no infantry. He's got just the starting infantry, depicts. So he's going to lose his healer now, who's going to be, yeah, savaged and has been killed. Uh, but he's given... That sort of delay has given uh, depict the time to come back. So he's now just trying to get his cavalry out of there, but he is he trying to build a defense tower? No, it's a house. He's not being a, so he's very cleverly or DP has just populated here, like garrisoned his civic center. Okay, he's trying not to lose this house. But if you garrison the, the civic center with the cavalry, then they will um, it will fire arrows, and it, he might still lose the house because he's appears he doesn't appear to have realised that Alistair is still trying to get that house, and that at this early stage of the game, that 150 wood is rather important, especially as he's only got 174 wood. I tell you what, Tom. I hope the uh, the speed that I'm seeing the stream at is not what everyone else is seeing, because I'm seeing the game in real time, and I think it's about five seconds or five to ten seconds behind. Yeah, the streams so are, are about five. The streams seconds are behind. slow. That's okay. So it's deliberately, well, I won't say deliberately. It's set up to be um, slower. Whether it's actually um, lagging or not, I'm not sure. How many? I guess we'll find out at the end if our commentary is in time with what's actually happening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to look at the game now. I'm going to ignore the stream. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably wise. So, I mean, does it look like it's lagging or anything? Alice is going to get another house, and he there he goes. He's got another. So he's killed. Um, oh, hello, that's a bit cheeky. The arrows, I know they've always said there's been an issue with the maximum range of the Civic Center or a tower or whatever not actually being the maximum range, and that just happened. Alistair nearly lost a horse, even though he's well outside the range of the Civic Center, which is a bit... It was um, outside of the blue circle, yeah? Yeah, well outside. Uh, okay, but yeah, if he's yeah. not careful, he's going to lose his cavalry before he gets that house, and he's lost one of them, and yeah, he's... He's cutting his losses, so yeah, yeah, or see. rather, he's not actually nice, cutting his losses. He's making the most of uh, what he's won. Yes, yeah, see. So Alistair's already up to the town phase. He's made a great start to the game. Deep Slight hit. population yeah. deficit, though, is it? It's about Has it? fifteen or so. Oh, I make God, it right. eighty to depict. Um, yeah, that's right. Sixty-four. I guess it just depends whether he has. Uh, whether yeah. he's sort of gained tempo from this. It doesn't look like yeah. it's really slowed to pick down much. No, it honest. hasn't. Like I've um, I've been focused on that battle. I didn't realise that his um, yeah, he'd, he'd been churning people out from his barracks. So, yeah, having got to phase um, phase two, he's going to have to make the most of that. He, he made the cardinal sin of going to phase yeah, two yeah. without having a barracks, which means that he wasn't well, able yeah. to produced during that time which is is bad you should not do that ideally so we've got now is he catching up in population it's about the same uh that gap oh, is still the same no. alistair's Come base on. looks looks pretty Underdeveloped. scattered developed yeah yeah he really it was a nice yeah. attack he's also yeah, got yeah, a few yeah he's got a, a few um yeah, people that are uh, idle he's actually picked them up relatively quickly but yeah i find and this happened to alistair here like um the farmers don't always find uh, the like next available field if you set them to go and build a few fields and those fields get too far apart then the group of um farmers won't necessarily go oh there's that first field we bought uh, built rather why don't we go and um like farm on that one they'll just leave the the farm uh, what became of the um i swear in a previous uh alpha 24 preview you said it would be one farmer per field did that well, get that is the, did that get chucked in no so i think you've got a slight misunderstanding so what happens is and it turns by it was happening already and i didn't realize is that the first farmer 
farms at uh, basically in i've been working through the maths of it but the first farm of goes at about um five uh collects five food in about uh, 10 seconds and then the next um the next farmer along will be 15 percent slower than that which by the time you get to the fifth farmer means that the fifth farmer is collecting about two and a half food in 10 seconds. So there's a diminishing return. Yeah. With it. yeah. So that was already in place, but I don't know what the, um, yeah, the ratio was previously. So I'm not sure if it's got worse or better. Um, but yeah, it was something that I thought, well, if you want to be optimal, you're going to have to theoretically go one farmer per field and just try and get as many fields. But that was also based on uh, wood being a lot more abundant in the old version. I tended to find that there's just fewer big. Picked has just in. phased up. Sorry, it was uh, eleven about eleven minutes in. Yep, yeah, he has just gone in. But his population looks pretty good, and Alistair's catching up in the population. Oh, said just that, as you said that, he has to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is brilliant, dude. Uh, you, you can't um, you can't script these things. <laughs> So he's got a cavalry stable and a barracks there. Yeah, I was, see? and this yeah, see? is there. So let's have a, a quick while we grind. I've got a bit of a lull in the action. Why don't we have a discussion briefly about the kinds of um, obviously to jump in if something important is happening and I'm missing it. Uh, but the, the two factions that we've got here. So I've already discussed how the the Kushites have weaker elephants. Uh, than the the Morians and the Persians, but they have been bolstered with that ram, and the same as everyone now has a ram. So I think that's a, a massive uh, massive impact. So I think from the Kushites' perspective, um, their elephants just aren't that good. So I would expect, um, we'll wait and see, but I would have thought that Depict is more likely to go for the rams um, than the than the elephants and also potentially the the siege uh, towers because they also well, they used to deliver crush damage i actually don't know if they still do so why don't we go and find out he's, he's going for expansion yeah. first so he's going for another cc it's it's going to start pushing putting pressure yeah. on on alistair's kind of weaker side here he's got he is he's got no towers or anything up you would imagine if there's going to be an attack it's going to be coming through through that side yeah it looks and i think alistair is well you'll be aware now he was probably yeah. completely unaware yeah after his initial um you know uh, sort of foray alistair's been hasn't been uh, doing a particularly good job of keeping up his vision of what's going on he could have seen that and i think it was being if we look at the thing no, actually, it was all bowmen, uh, my mistake. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was being mostly built by um, by villagers as well, which would have meant that they could have been scared off. So Alistair is now protecting his frontier with a tower. And oh, he's also yeah. building a, um, oh, a temple, yeah. which will give him, as he already has, a blacksmith. But he's got all oh, his barracks are both idle. Come on, Alistair. Can't be hanging around with... Um, idle barracks. Not while well Depict is churning out 17 swordsmen. Um, blimey. So I think by weight of numbers, it's not looking good for Alistair at this point. It's no, it's 50, really not. It, he's, really? Now, he's now 64 behind. Um, the only thing, sort of counterpoint to that, I'd say, is that actually if Alistair is allowed to get up to 200 population, then he has got that 10% um, uh, population bonus that Morians still have, which is, for me, what makes them the, the best faction in the game at the moment. Um, they have a, a great combination of uh, troops. You have your, um, your swordsmen, which you need to take out enemy rams. You've also got uh, your rams. You've got the archers, which are fantastic. You've got the strong elephants. Um, you've got lots of... Uh, healer bonuses. I think one of your heroes is a healer as well that gives um, an additional bonus and um, and he's also, you've got the elephant hero uh, and on top of that you've got a 10% population bonus. I just think it's you're basically set up. I, I can't see how other yeah, factions 
can really is this uh, is this a raid that Alistair is planning? They've they've gone Ooh. straight past the hunt. Yes, yeah, yeah, I guess so. So there's only seven of them. Are they they're light cavalry, and they've got twelve food on them as well. Just carrying it, they should um, should have deposited that. But he's not got... much in the way of soft targets, is it? So it's uh... no, he has got the berries, which he might think are a soft target, but he'll find very shortly that they're not. They're actually spearmen. And oh, is he? Sorry, I'm just checking another part. Of... I thought he was having another kind of attack. What did he manage to do? He killed one of each of the spearmen and the women. He's now pulling the, the cavalry away. Which is sensible, but I yeah, think some of them yeah. might take a hit or two. No, they're off. The front line really needs to be fortified by Alistair. He could do with making sure he is producing from, yeah, from both of his barracks and from his civic centre now. And this is where, if Deepik hasn't been, because he's Deepik's population is basically the same. Alistair's catching up at a, a fast rate, which if he does manage to do that, then it's, it's very much like in chess. If you don't actually take advantage while your opponent's on the ropes. Uh, then... Alistair is in a position to go to phase three. He hasn't taken it yet, but he's he's reached that. And uh, Depict has just pressed the button on it. What is the population difference now? It's 190 for Depict. Against um, 145. Housed at 145 for <laughs> Alistair. Well done, Alistair. Um, in Alistair's uh, defence at this point, it is important to point out it is just half past seven in the morning for him, and he did get up <laughs> early for this. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> so this is what happens when you find out that most of the people that... Um, make zero ad youtuber in western europe uh, and you happen to live in tasmania you are going to find these streams at uncomfortable times of day it's it's a bit of dedication that's required i admire that i do yeah it absolutely is he's building up his cavalry um there he hasn't gone for any of the um sword cavalry though which can again with the morians that's another great unit that they've got having not just sword infantry but sword cavalry you combine those with the javelin ears you've got a brilliant um attacking threat particularly against uh, factions that have a lot of elephants or will use a lot of elephants they need i think a lot we food. have our first proper confrontation here we <laughs> do i think those guys are going to struggle middle. though they've not he's not coming with any siege weapons is he trying to take out a tower with archers and is Alistair... Oh, Alistair's collecting up his archers yeah, and he's got 45 or so. And Deepik doesn't have anything like that. Yeah. So if he's not yeah, careful, he's going to lose a lot of people here. Those... And they're all carrying wood as well. So... Yeah, they've, they've gone back. Um, but we've got an elephant stable two elephant stables coming up so maybe depict isn't oh, i think he's got another one there so he's going for two elephant stables which is interesting because as i said their elephants are weaker um he's got 10 fields which should be enough to keep that uh keep that going but alice says yes. moving out to the right flank so he's seen that empty space and all that stone and that's the other thing about the uh, alpha 24 is that stone is effectively worthless um, unless you've got slingers yeah, and catapults, then there isn't really anything to spend them on. Spend it on. Uh, Depict a sneak to load yeah. of heavy cavalry down. Uh, he has down the right hand side. Um, so are they? Are they sword cavalry? I don't. Ah, they so are. there are archers. Uh, sorry, archers. That's completely wrong. They're the the lancer cavalry. So if now it's now gone to city phase. If they come in, they should be able to absolutely destroy those um, farmers. Alistair's only got 33... Um, oh no, he's got a few more going now. What's he got? 30 area. But the, you'll see in this fight the, the cavalry that um, Depict has have a massive advantage. Um, they get a bonus against other cavalry in combat, so he will take out Alistair's cavalry in no time whatsoever. Um, or he will take out the the farmers. He's doing both. And it's, I think he's going to lose one cavalry. And uh, what's happening now, I find so frustrating when people just carry on collecting um, resources as the enemy just run by. 
Okay, oh, we've got elephants coming. So our first elephant has been spawned. Yes, yeah, but as you can see, I'll just put the thing on screen. They've only got oh, no. 675 food, whereas Alistair's cavalry uh, elephants, if and when they arrive, got four battles. He's producing archers in large volumes now. As he finally, he's going to start to build an elephant stable, but it may be a bit too late. This is quite a force coming in. 50 archers. Yeah, this don't yeah. look good, does it? This no. <laughs> the elephant is taking massive hits, but it's managed to knock down the um, the tower. I'm surprised it got that far. It did really well. Did he get any upgrades, do you know, Jim? I have to find his yeah. blacksmith, isn't it? Hang on. What does a Kushite blacksmith look like? <laughs> uh, that thing with the, the chimney, just next to his second civic centre. I got yeah. So he has got all of the um, the archery uh, defense upgrades. The um, what do you call it? Uh, the shield, <laughs> basically. I don't know. Yes. It defends against archers. Yes. And he's got a very nicely positioned tower there. So Alistair's kind of attacking his archers from the side, but is also finding that his own archers are getting mown down by the tower. So we've got more elephants coming out now, but those two. Um, with this many archers, Alistair yes, shouldn't yes. actually have that much difficulty in getting rid of those. So he's... What are we looking like in populations? Oh, it's so frustrating not being able to do that. So Depict is well ahead, but Alistair, he needs to get some wood together. Um, has he got a market? He has. It's down the uh, down the bottom oh. and way out. It's, it's over there. So he's got yeah. one. So has he been collecting? Yeah, everyone's got plenty of stone, um, which is what you'd expect because there's far less need for it. He could do, has he got the farming upgrades? I can't even find his thing. He doesn't have that many farms. And he's only got, he's got no farming upgrades, actually. He's not even got the first one, Alistair. So that would be a massive improvement for him if he can get that farming upgrade. I, oh, he's just going for it now. Maybe he is listing after all. Yes, no, I actually heard that by accident. That's my oh, opinion. he is unbelievable. <laughs> I knew it. Knew yeah. It. Oh, you came across as someone so trustworthy, and now we find out that you listen <laughs> well, in. I can't put my headphones far away enough. I turn the volume down on here, and it doesn't do anything for some reason. Oh well. Okay, let's see what what happens. You've got a phenomenal number of archers there against his archers. Mm -hmm. Just keep that elephant away. You can garrison it. So your arch oh, oh, it's beautiful positioning from um Oh no it doesn't fire. I'm just thinking the positioning on those archers to be right on the edge of the um the range. Uh, I don't know whether to advertise this fact if Alistair is listening, but there are five elephants headed for his other <laughs> CC. <laughs> oh my word. And no one there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that will <laughs> they will cause a problem. They will certainly make things more difficult. Um, I mean, yeah, Steve. 61, but not producing. So, they, yeah, that CC is long gone. And there's more relevance yeah, coming out in that direction as well. Still one... slight population lead. Uh, it did close right up, and then that big battle happened. Despite all the uh, all of Alistair's archers, he has taken losses in it as well. Yes. I'm still not convinced. Although there is a, uh, he's got a sneaky elephant attack on, on that other sea. That didn't last long. Did we... Yeah. Oh, the elephant lost. <laughs> so. It's a lot of idle time. The thing, Depict has got a solid economy. He's getting some more metal. Yeah, Alistair's now... Oh, Depict is now building a civic centre where Alistair had one, which means he would take control of the metal and the stone there. As we've already established, the stone isn't actually all that important anymore. But that metal could be absolutely critical. It's important for elephants. Yeah, it's important for um, for rams. And it's important I for your swords. I think it looks like they've all given up on mining here. I think it's all fighting from there. <laughs> I mean, seven elephants coming in. Yeah, the geez. archers are doing their best. There's, yeah, but there's only a handful. There's only 18 against 
Um, yes, yeah, seven elephants. Um, and he yeah. needs to get more archers there. They, I mean, oh, the cavalry no. stable's not really been used, so... That's not the end of the world if it goes. Um, Alistair's got another couple of elephants that are just kind of meandering around. I'm surprised that Depict hasn't gone for... Um, he hasn't got a siege workshop, because... As I said, his elephants are yeah, less good. He's lost one of them, and he's going to lose more of them. Uh, if he can focus his fire. And the problem is that they're all kind of running around. Yeah, see? Not focused. If the archers just focus on a single elephant, they would take out that elephant in very little time. Oh, so, uh, made it to the CC. Yep. Yeah. Alistair still doesn't have any upgrade. Oh, they've got Toledo Steel still, or it's called Woot Steel. But they could... Alistair can upgrade his swordsman as well. The CC is taking big hits. He's got archers fire. I think they're going to take out the elephants, though. I'm quite yeah. liking the light elephants, to be honest. Yeah, Despite yeah. what they lack in bulk, they move pretty quick. And you can get them around the uh, the map fast. Are they actually faster? Do you think they're just a bit too... Uh, they did look a bit faster. Let's have a look at the stats. So we've got... Um, the speed is 9 for the Kushai elephant. But it's only got 675 health, whereas the uh, Persians will do... They're the same speed. But they've it's got... an optical illusion. Then. They, just look, they just look like they yeah. were going quicker. Yeah, they, they, they look nimble. Uh, whether they are or not, uh, well, yeah, I don't know what the, the impact of things like the turning circle. I'm not sure. So they could. Oh my word! The amount of archers, swordsmen, and pikemen he's, coming he's through. He's going through the it. lot in. Yep. What have we got? I see 72 archers, five spearmen, and 36 and Alistair still swordsmen. has no upgrades. Uh, Deepik has now got. Maximum armor upgrades and the first uh, a, like archer attack bonus. Oh my word! And here come another load of elephants. Yeah, this is this one's done. I think. Put a fork in it. <laughs> Jeez, it's going to be very I'm tough to come back from here. Just, the population. Oh, he's going to chuck the strong. towel in. He's given it up. Yeah. There you go. Depict uh, becomes the inaugural Zero AD Friday Night Stream champion of a game. There you go. So, Are Kushites better than Morians then? Um, I, Depends on the I map. don't <laughs> think. How did you find that? I mean, in fact, if DP um, shouldn't be better than uh, Morians on that map, I would have thought, like, because they can't really play to the strength of having the pyramids out on a big copse of trees and yeah, being and able the to work grab elephant. that. Mm. So if we have but, a look at uh, the charts, okay. Alistair was ahead between about the seventh minute and the eleventh minute. <laughs> yeah, then really it there. fell down <laughs> uh, somewhat. Let's have a look at. Units trained, yeah, depict trained more, killed more. He lost less though, so that's uh, good. In terms of the market, um, there, yeah, I'll say you didn't trade much, so you did a few no. bits, but um, but depict certainly did. He was trading phenomenally and a lot for wood, so did well. So I, I'm a bit surprised, but I would have thought with the uh, with the elephant as the mobile drop site that that would be an advantage on that map where all the the wood is uh, scattered. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, for a better player, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, do you want to? Um, I'm just thinking. I could also, uh, I could just leave Jim. Um, do you want to play, Alistair? Don't worry, we'll game and Jim can do a commentary, and I'll. Also, take my headphones off. Yeah, sure. Okay, we can just try one of the uh, other. I just need two minutes first. I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. Oh, your Katarina's got a game. Uh, presumably, that's for their new YouTube channel. So, right.
think that's really embarrassing that I've been literally up to the point that Alpha 24 went live. I've been promising Yekaterina I was going to broadcast one of the games. Oh, and no. I had a whole load of replays. And some of them were pretty good. And I was all queuing it up. And I woke up, like I said, on the, the last episode I did on Alpha 23 and 24 had gone live. So I was, oh. <laughs> I think that's cause cool, so to give up and start the room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so... Yeah, that's because what are you actually, um, what are you doing on your YouTube channel then in the meantime? I think I'm going to have to do, uh, I'm going to have to do what I did last week. I think I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a Valorant style video again. <laughs> just, okay, just, just play a game and see how it goes. That's cool. Well, sorry, I'm just, uh, like, I've realized I can log into the chat on my phone. Um, so... SWM was asking a lot of questions. Oh, Martin M says, who's playing? They are nubs. Well, <laughs> well, Martin M, if you're so brilliant, then maybe you should come and play. Um, oh, right. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to make sure I'm definitely clear to do uh, another sort of half an hour or so. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to grab some water if you want me to do a commentary. Yeah, that would uh, be great. No problem. Uh, what I'll do, I'll let you know when, I am, when I'm back, at the, back in my chair. Lovely stuff. Cheers, Jim. Okay, so people in the chat, we've got like a couple of minutes. Like, why don't we? Um, I'll just do. Why don't we have a, a quick look through the um, uh, through the structure tree and all that, the tech tree, and you can hit me with any questions that you've got, and I will uh, well, I'll answer them. So, if you've got any questions, let me know. Okay, so right. Well, while I wait for some questions, if any come in, let's have a look at the the structure tree, and I will quickly go through the big differences for the Archer sieves um, that uh, uh, that we that the the thing what's it called the the poll said. You know, there are 110 odd votes, and of those, about 40% wanted to know about the Archer sieves. So Let's go next. So what's the big differences here? So we've got Morians. They've now got this archery tradition. It um, makes their people have less training time and attack range. It used to also reduce their health. It doesn't anymore. Um, so we've got a Civ tier list. Uh, I'm just going to say, yes, that is true, SWM. They do. Uh, we will be doing a, a tier list at some point, but at this point, I'm not really comfortable with it because there's not been enough time to play with all of the factions enough to really know. I'd say that definitely archer sieves go towards the top. And if you are a faction that doesn't have archers and doesn't have elephants, then I think you're going to be towards the bottom. So that means people towards the bottom are probably like oh, um, Athenians. They have archers, don't they? So, no, they don't. Um, yeah, they don't. The other thing, let's say... In terms of things that have really hit the, um, oh, oh dear, I see you've got another chat. So yes, um, I can't even say someone Bloom fan. Yes, Carthage has a new house. It's actually in my video that will be up in about oh, two weeks. So here it is. It's called a bet. It costs a little bit of stone, so extra fifty stone, but it gives you twenty um, population bonus rather than just ten. So for an extra 50 wood and 50 stone, you get um, basically two houses, and it only takes 50% more time to build as well. So it's well worth it, particularly as there's not really a lot to use your stone on anymore. Though having said that, I think the Carthaginians will want to use stone on their temple because that's where your hero, um, champions come from. Sorry, not your heroes. So you get your Sacred Band infantry, and you have to now, though, get your Sacred Band cavalry from the stable. That's disappointing there's this new unlock uh, champions as well which is a new thing is that so alistair are you back someone breathing might be alistair. that's me that oh, was me Sorry. oh it's jim jim's back I'm back in the room oh, okay i've just had a thought if you're playing and you're controlling the stream uh, yep. and i'm looking at the game in zero ad oh, that's, i yeah. could end up commentating on completely completely different bits yeah yeah you're of the right game. Oh, i'm not sure that's going to do you want to play then? It'll be right. Oh, hell's bells, man. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, we've got a guy called 
irony or he was he or she rather were in the last game but yeah you're right this that won't work or you'll just be saying oh that's an interesting thing that's happening and no one be able to see it um this is why planning it at earlier than five to eight would possibly have been a good idea <laughs> it's been been hectic <laughs> it's been a crazy week so there you go swm is saying to alistair that yeah you did well so whether that's being condescending or not let's uh wait and see but um alistair are you going to join the game who's in there yeah sure. let's find out who wants to play on youtube Do a two v two or something. Yeah, we can do that. So I've just asked a chat. What should I have called the game? What is it called? Bloody, hell, there are. Oh. You're right, Alistair. There are loads and loads of games at the moment. So yeah, Alistair's. Uh, there's a lot of people. We've got Alistair against Iron Hill at the moment. If someone else joins, yeah, I'm looking for people that I know. Mystic Jim has left. I've just been kicked out of the lobby. What? Hang on. Yeah, I'm oh. back in. <laughs> okay, I'm Mr. Jim has joined. Good news. It's, it's not all all done. Uh, let's have a look at status. Not with you. Who on the list is... Ah, oh, Hamditch. Let me have a look. Is that the guy? I played... Oh, a guy... I think his name... That was him? Or was it Hacker? Ham Hamd is lethal. He is a lethal player. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> let's see if he's... Go, where's he gone? Oh, he's. I think he's just gone into a game. Or left. Hamditch. Oh, he's gone into a team game. Uh, Me and on. Ironil versus you and Jim. Um, yeah, we could do that. It'll be... Okay, no, no, he's just said, not me, oh, I'm just learning. Okay. <laughs> um, Fair enough. Okay, does, uh, uh, Jim, do you want to play? Oh, okay. Do I want to get my ass kicked by Alistair? Yeah, go on. Then. Yeah, you do. That's right. the spirit. How am I going to do this? I'm probably going to have to mute or take my headphones off and make um, sure I mute my microphone because there will be a lot of swearing on this. Okay. Tom can, Tom can help you. Yeah, there you go. Um, you the adventure. Tell you what, so Alistair, you, who do you want to be? I think let's do the archer sieves again. We'll leave Jim with Morians because they are the best. Do you want to be Kushites or Persians? Do you want to trust up there? Test out Persians or um, Carthaginians have got archers too, don't they? Uh, they do. Um, yeah, as soon as people mention their nice house. Um, yeah, I like to build that. It's it's big. Okay, well, there you go. There you go, Jim. He's already given away his tactic is going to be build big houses. Uh, build so big houses. Best of luck. Lots of, with... lots of archers. <laughs> okay, ready up, guys. All right, I'm going to take me take me headphones off. Okay, Alistair's uh, ready. Jim is I'll... ready as well. Best of luck, both of you, if you can hear that. I, I tell you what, you I'm going gonna, gonna to have to mute me mic, otherwise you're going to get so much abuse. Serious? <laughs> Right. Okay, and we're in. We are live. So here we have. Literally, I'm going to pause it while I mute my mic. Hang on. Okay, do Oh, it's unpaused. Right. So I don't even know how to get the chat up anymore. Uh, so I'm trying to get the chat on my phone while also well, getting the, the okay I don't even know how to do that it's lost ignore the phone right so we got a, a game here it is um, Jim Newbie Rush Mystic Jim versus Alistair Alistair so as Jim is pointing out the berries here they're less visible than they used to be but the animations are absolutely lovely um, the way that the uh, the berry, they're just beautifully done. So, really, really lovely artwork. Um, so, Alistair is playing as Carthaginians, uh, the faction with the house, as uh, they're known. In the south, he'll be playing in blue. And in the north, as the Morians, we have Jim. So, Jim, 
uh, it's yeah, taken okay. fairly standard approach. He's not moved his elephant out, which he could have done. So we good. Jim hasn't got much going yeah, on in the way of um, of like uh, what you call it exploration. He needs to really get out there. He can, if he could, or he would ideally be producing some cavalry because he's got some great group of deer right here. And he's got. Oh, there's they still have rabbits, tiny little rabbits, um, with barely any food on them that it's impossible for an archer to hit. So if you've got range cavalry, you're basically screwed with those. Um, let's have a look. We got cavalry being produced now by um, Alistair. Now Alistair doesn't have the benefit of the uh, what do you call it of the elephant which Jim's using to get this wood that's a little bit further away without building a storehouse which is is fine uh, but actually if he wants to get the wood coming upgrade he will need a storehouse at some point so that's something that you might want to think about but building quite an early barracks um yeah we're only two minutes in and he's going for the barracks he's not producing what's his um popular yeah he's got plenty of food he needs to uh, remember to keep churning out those um, uh, people from the Civic Center so he could build another eight actually um, or train another eight women at this point he's just going for two cavalry so he's keeping hold of his wood um, Alistair is going for the um, really kind of booming approach he has just gone for uh, just gone for women basically so far so just villagers and a handful of cavalry where are those cavalry where have they gone they're out here yeah, ah, I've managed to get the chat back okay so we've got Julian Valdar ah, he missed the first game because he's playing a 4v4 well Julian should if you want to play then play um, or uh, chance your arm at, um, armchair commenting your point but in all seriousness if anyone does want to play then just let me know I think Jim's going to have to uh, leave to put his son to bed um, at some point relatively I've just heard my own son actually um, outside so he's not gone to bed yet and he should really have been asleep uh, a while ago uh, he's only under two years old so he's going to get um, very grumpy if he stays up much longer um, what do we have now so Jim has housed himself unfortunately um, which oh, and he's producing two of everything and he's just short of the wood required so he's realised that I think he's gone to get those people no he's still housed come on Jim notice you're housed he is noticing, well, he has noticed now that um, it's, yeah, it can be, I, I make mistakes like that where you just, uh, silly things, uh, getting housed and so on. So this one has actually, have, this map has a little bit more wood, which is good. I'd say um, one thing that, so Alistair's probably a little bit behind where he would like to be, but not hugely so, whereas Jim is, uh, a bit further behind getting housed that time is really uh, unhelpful uh, and it looks like yeah he's doing what I do as well um, you get housed and you then suddenly go oh no I don't want to be housed again so you overcompensate by building lots and lots of houses uh, which uses up all of your wood which means you then can't train many people it's a really um, yeah standard reaction it's unfortunate so he's getting the first um, wood cutting upgrade which is going to help him hopefully do it all fire aspect um swm uh you run yeah then i was just doing one versus ones but people want to have a team game the issue with a team game is i'm a bit worried about the stream lagging um I'm just running this on basically my laptop, which is my personal laptop, not my work laptop, and I bought it many years ago, so I don't know if it will work as a team game, possibly 2v2, but if people want to play, then absolutely, um, yeah, just pop into the chat, and SWM is rightly pointing out, there are multiple um, zero AD channels, 
out there. Uh, lots of people um, do that. Jim has one. Um, yeah, Alistair also has one. Uh, Valerant uh, is a Latvian guy who's one of the top players in the game. He has a, a channel as well where he kind of shows you um, basically how he plays, which is really useful because he is one of the very best players out there. I think he's probably um, second or third in the world, maybe third after Feldfeld and Borg. Uh, but we don't really... The thing is, now there's so much more to learn that I think the top, a few people that were at the very top are finding that they're, they're dropping down the rankings because their play style was based around micro, is something we discussed earlier. And other players are, are moving up and oh, Mystic Jim's losing connection. Can't really kick him out. He's kind of key to this. Ooh. Jim. Okay, I'm going to pause it in the hope that that lets Jim catch up. Oh, wow, it really worked. I didn't expect that to work. Um, and yes, it only worked for a few seconds. Jim appears to be struggling. Yeah, Jim, Jim is lagging. He is correct. see if we can leave and come back in. Alright, is Jim able to do that? <laughs> uh, I think Jim might be watching the stream cheating. He's a few seconds behind. Um... Let's see. Okay, Jim's it's not looking good from my end. <laughs> no. Okay, Jim's left. Well, as you can hear, he's now talking about it. Let's see if you can come back in. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, what happened? I'm still as being in the game, but connection lost and game oh. caused by you. Ah, uh, okay. so it what, won't let you back in? Hang on. Let me see if I can get back in. Yeah. Well, we got some chat from Darius. Hi, Darius. It's good that you came back to the game after a long time. Hope you're enjoying the game. Um, it's Alpha 24, so it's very different to what you played before. Uh, here we go. It's crazy watching the stream in the live game with a 40-second difference. That is true, Darius. Um, and Darius, no, this is the first alpha, to answer your question, where phasing does not give any bonuses to the units anymore, uh, which SWM has answered. So I'll just confirm that in the chat while we wait to see if Jim can come back in. Uh, I've been kicked out of the lobby altogether. Oh, but if you come back into the lobby, will it let you back in or if we... Did I'm you... just going to try and just going to try and reopen zero AD. I'm wondering if it's the same thing that happened to me last night when my broadband fell over. So I'm going to oh, have a no. look. It's the fact I can still hear you suggests I've got some connection. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, you have considered that. It, it is cutting out a bit at my end, mine. Okay. Well, I'm going to. Is it going to allow me? It is. So while you try and get your um, broadband working. The population dis difference isn't anywhere near as big as I thought it was going to be. So Alistair is ahead, but not by as much as it appeared that he was. But you did get yourself housed, Jim. Okay, I get the feeling it's my connection that might be going because you're breaking up a lot. Okay. Uh, uh, so I think uh, I'm just checking. Yeah, I'm on the, the Wi-Fi on my phone, I'm down to half the signal I would normally have. So I wouldn't be surprised if I vanish altogether at some point. I'm going to try going back into zero AD now, a minute. 
Okay, let's see. Um, let's... Uh, you're clear again. I think that might have oh. done it. Right, hang on. Let's go game lobby. Come on, Jim. You can do it. Yeah, whenever I go into the game lobby, you start breaking up and I start losing everything. Oh, still that? Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't know. He hasn't said that you're coming back. You've joined or anything. Nope. I can't get past the lobby. Or okay. get into the lobby. Um, well, in that case, you'll probably have to go to Alistair on points. Uh, he was... I, uh, <laughs> he was how far ahead. behind was I then? Only 10. 10 population. It was... Um, you had a period where... I mean, Alistair, do you want to come back? Let's bring Alistair back in. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, so Alistair was like pretty solid. Solid opening. I'm just going to unpause it briefly. Um, but had good... Yeah, pretty decent... Um, yeah, Steve. Like... Uh, development and did the housing gym got himself housed uh more. many times <laughs> yeah there was one point i, I where hardly ever play as the morian so i was quite five. used to that i know i felt, although wow actually i've just left the game and if we look at actual points the final score is mm. alistair 1048 jim 1102 jim is the winner so, i'll take that i'll yeah. take <laughs> so uh, you explored more. Than yeah, it was all down to exploration. <laughs> was expo I did one bit of scouting before yeah, my exploration. Win. It's a legitimate part of the game. It all counts. It does yeah. count. So I think we all know if you're playing against Jim, make sure that you scout so at least you don't lose on points uh, <laughs> if his internet drops out. So, I don't know what's going on there. I get the feeling it's my ISP. I think the the speed is being throttled, and it it seems to be enough to maintain a, a chat conversation, but it seems to be the kiss of death for uh, zero AD multiplayer at the moment. Oh no, that's, that's not. Well, now, why can't it do good. that when I'm working from home? That's what. I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, God, we, uh, I'm just going to go into an incredibly dull conversation about how one of our systems dropped out uh, this morning, making everyone just like an entire office be like there's nothing we can do we literally need that software and uh the database is gone but yeah so i assume that's why everyone was tuning in tonight for a friday night to hear about um the nature of certain databases right <laughs> okay well we'll have for Alistair, it's it's still before nine o'clock so that's uh that's mad Prime time Prime thinking time. about it there so jim do you have much longer or i mean you're gonna to need to head off at some point soon or what? Uh, probably what about next about 15 minutes so and i at the moment i cannot get back into uh i'm gonna try one more time to get back into zero ad into the lobby okay well i was thinking uh we could do a, a brief um Thing. Let's have a look at the leaderboard and see if the leaderboard has been shaken up uh, by Alpha 24. And no. ooh, Stockfish has made a big rise. He's up to number five. Okay, Stockfish. Yeah. Um, was Stockf yeah, he was the the champion of um, Fair Hat and Fair Hats um, tournament, wasn't he? In the end, was it him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him. Super position, I think, is down. Uh, he was used to be right up there, maybe third. Now he's down in eighth place. And um, Star at as well. Do you know, is Star at someone that's new and just really, really good? Or did they lose a username and then get a new username? How many games have they played? That is a good question. Uh, 74. So no, I guess they're not that new. Um, they've won 67 of those games. They are a very, very good player. Um Oof. That's a ratio. Yeah, El Dragon is um, up at 15th. I've seen him play, like, literally when it was released, um, I went in the, uh, whatever it's called, in the lobby, and he was playing. And he, because of the way that he played previously, very, very aggressively, and as I said before, with the, the Alpine map, so that he would get the goats, which meant he could play as Ptolemies, and would get the Camel Archers, they wouldn't have the problem... Oh, I've got a thing here. I was told Starrat came from SC2. I don't really know what that means, SC2. Star, Starcraft, Starcraft, dude. Yeah. Starcraft. Oh. 
Why are you saying that in an American accent? <laughs> Maybe you have to. It's uh, one of the things. So, well, he's very, very Probably good. Probably it in a Korean accent, actually. <laughs> you, yeah, what's it? So, how is zero AD when you're like upside down, Alistair? Like, in relation to us, that is, we all know that the globe <laughs> um, hangs. There's no such thing as as space I'm not sure having up. Or gravity down. is is the same <laughs> on the other side of the world. <laughs> Yeah, so, but, I mean, it's holding them there, but they're still down. <laughs> they're still upside down compared to us in Western Europe. <laughs> so it must be, it must be fascinating to, you know, does anything ever just fail and just fall off your table up into the air, which is actually down? I'll take that as a no. Not, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> No, it makes oh SWM has answered again. I'm not sure who SWM is. SWM, are you in the multiplayer lobby as well? Because you may want to play a game. You're answering more questions than we are at the minute. So yeah, <laughs> it, it is StarCraft too. So it yeah. appears like yeah. um, there was a transfer. So Star Out was signed by Zero AD and sold by StarCraft Two, and has turned out to be uh, a very good good option. Guy Fawkes. Has joined the a lot of um, the, um, a lot of the uh, skills would transfer pretty well. Like um, there's a little bit more micromanagement in StarCraft too, but uh, Alpha Twenty Four has more scouting. Considering uh, you want to scout for an early horse stable to see if you're going to get horse rushed, it's the same kind of thing. If you want to scout, if you want to get Zerg rushed in StarCraft Two or whatever else, oh, oh. I'm back in the back in the lobby. Oh right. And- I, are you up for? Um, I, I think if as soon as I start playing, everything just seems to cut out for me, and I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, claiming a, a dodgy victory. Do you want to see if you could do one more game? Yeah, and uh, I will. I will. I, I seem to be okay when I'm observing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think. I can play Alistair and kind of chat with you, Jim, if, if you want. Um, <laughs> well, you're or... certainly not going to get any coaching from. <laughs> Okay, come on then, Alistair. Let's play it again. the The original thing right. was that I was just going. I've We're called gonna it Alistair's it. game, which is it is true, but it makes it look like you um, set up the game. Okay, I'm going to play as Persians, and I'll I'll talk with Jim about what's going on in the game and why I'm doing the things I'm doing. Uh, but actually, you know, I'm not going to play. I'll play as Kush because uh, I don't know Persians as well. Okay. Right. I think to keep this fair, I'm going to have to do it purely from uh, from your perspective. Otherwise, I'll see what Alice just doing. <laughs> that it, yeah, I might give it away. That seems fair enough. I mean, if you want to just kind of, yeah, ask questions, it's one of those things. I have, I did realize because I played a couple of games uh, the other day against one of the, like, I can't remember who it was, but someone who's a like very good player they absolutely destroyed me in the end but at the beginning i was like i watched it back thinking oh, i'll find out where i went wrong and up until about 12 minutes i was like way ahead so i thought oh so i was doing quite well um until it got to the point where uh like what we explained earlier on people like he had a clear plan of how he was going to attack me and i was just like oh i've developed and got loads of troops and stuff what am i going to do now um i haven't really thought it through um which meant that i just got steamrolled so um, I'm more than happy to discuss the yeah the kind of how you go about developing because I feel like from my perspective I can do that quite well. Um, it's just when it turns out turning that into a, an army that's going to beat someone, uh, I tend to panic and struggle. Right. Okay. So I'm going to play as Kushites. I'll say you're going to play as Morians. Or do you want to actually? Don't. Uh... I'm going to force you to be Persians so that we can see what they're like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yes, <laughs> I kind of suggested that to begin with as though it was a question when actually it wasn't really. Well, if everybody's going to be watching it from your point of view, right, I reckon you will be Persian still. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> yeah. Jim's turned the tables horribly there. You know, I've done me time. I, I embarrassed yeah. myself playing 10 minutes of the game or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You won. What's that to. <laughs> You picked up a. It feels like a hollow victory. <laughs> yeah, it was incredibly unpyrrhic as victories go, but you beat someone that's two hundred and fifty odd points ahead of you. You should be proud. And my ratings dropped by about a hundred points since I started playing the new alpha because the only things that I was quite good at have all been made moot. So, 
Anyway, let's go on. We're going to find out what kind of biome we're in. Um, oh, Alistair's ready. Then he wasn't ready. Then he's ready again. Okay, so I'm the Persians. And I will go. So, you don't have to. You can, you can listen to me attempting to do so. So, the first thing that I've done is dump everyone in the Civic Centre uh, as a starting point. And then you can make sure that they um, come out of the Civic Centre at the most um, convenient route to get back into, uh, back into the game. You find that faster than just chucking them in the right direction? Um, <laughs> yeah, not this time, because I, I did a really <laughs> bad job of it. But ordinarily, yeah, if you're sharp at the start, then you can just select everyone, uh, garrison, and then it just gives you that extra few seconds to make a decision. I, so I can get them into the yeah. Civic Centre quick, but I'm then dead and slow at um, evicting them all in the right direction. <laughs> so. Well, if, yeah, in that case, it's probably not such an ideal um, approach. So because I'm Persians, I'm going for cavalry. So I'm just starting to build my first house. Uh, I need a bit more wood as well. This is a terrible build order. I would normally have built um, a farmstead and a storehouse um, and would have then utilized the fact that the cavalry are a bit slower to collect slightly more um, slightly more uh, wood so let's have, I have no idea how Alistair's doing so this is it so there you go so what this has worked out pretty much uh, as I was I'm a bit behind in terms of the amount of time I would have liked to have spent but the actual uh, what do you call it um, the actual build order's not too far off so we're one minute 41 um, building my first storehouse um, it's actually quite close I would ideally have gone to a slightly further away location but it shows not to so I've got my cavalry now I'm going to send those off in all kinds of different directions to see as much of the map as possible as quickly as you're going for scouting points I know your game yeah <laughs> well you might cause me to drop out Jim and if that's the case <laughs> I don't want to lose on points <laughs> Oh, and I've forgotten to train anyone. So that's one of the, the biggest mistakes you can make in Zero AD is to actually not be um, training at a certain point. So my cavalry have now seen a good few hundred points worth of map there. That's useful. So I've got them going in all different... Oh, Alistair's got his own... Ah, if I've got all my cavalry together and I have got them all collected in a... Um, in a group. Oh, Alistair's doing the same as me. He's got cavalry coming from all all directions. And I don't have um, much in the way of defences. Are they coming in? Uh, I'm going to bring them back in. All right. It's going to get a couple of archers just to add uh, something. I've got the um, the berry upgrade as well, because there are little groups of um, like fruit trees around, uh, and they will now go more quickly. So I'm going to I want to get those sheep because they're very easy to get. There's just build it's too many. Just want a handful. So just going to get on with those. Um, how many can I get? Again, I'm going to get a load of uh, troops there. I need to build a farmstead up here just to give, me, to give these uh, women that are going to be collecting berries a bit more um, protection. And yeah, it's time to get the wood cutting up road. Build that farmstead. Okay, so you still there, Jim? I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm. I, it's really tricky. If I have a look at what Alistair's doing, then I have to be careful not to tell you. So I'm That's trying true. to keep it keep it impartial. Be, but, yeah, it's it's very decent of you. 
uh, but feel free to cheat. Feel Alistair can see what I'm doing as long as he's happy to wait 40 seconds for it. Which I'm sure in a game <laughs> like this would make no difference whatsoever. Okay, I've just realised I'm I've got my people collecting from this uh, tree, but they're going to run out very shortly. Um, so I need to start building um, some farms. I thought I was going to wind you up about pop capping, but you went and stuck a house down. There we go. As you were. got close. <laughs> I realised, I was like, oh, hold on. Get another 10. Okay. So, we're each on 50. I want to get a... Um, a barracks and that's where the good stuff. what I really want actually is trying to try and take, take out that cavalryman. So, are you a, a big user of hotkeys, Jim? I was. Um, then they primarily the building the building the houses. I was using the space and the H key, and I would use the the farmers to build houses really quick and queue up. I I, I haven't taken all of the old autosiv mod settings out of it, so hardly any of my hotkeys that I did use are actually working. Uh, so I do have to. Uh, I do have to basically uh, go back into the hotkeys, get rid of any of the stuff, you know, the settings that are causing me problems. I'm not like a, an avid hotkey aficionado, but uh, I did have one or two that, that worked with the way that I played. But uh, so uh, that's another thing that caused me to be so poor in that game that we just witnessed. Well, you say that from a position of victory, so... It's, it's You're not going to let that go. Uh, <laughs> it's easy to be modest when you've just won, Jim. Right. So let's. I want to. Um, I just got housed as well, and you you missed it. So you had your moment. Um, oh, I'm about to get housed again, though. So you might get that moment back. <laughs> so this is my point where I really want to be booming, and. I've uh, noticed I'm, I'm running a little low on food, so I've got the farm upgrade, but I've only got five farms, so uh, let's see if I can get another five women together to build another farm. How are you finding Persians then? Um, they're, they're right. So I'm looking forward to the elephants, basically. I think that's going to be where. Um, is he? He's Kushites, isn't he? Um, Alistair. So, yeah, it'll be. That's where uh, they'll make their money. So it's going to be the, the big um, advantage. Uh, let's see. I wonder if this house is going to get up quickly enough. It's not because uh, they're too close to the. Uh, which word? The. I think they're all running around. I'm finding the uh, the pathfinding. It does some really strange stuff yeah, in uh, in Alpha 24. I'm I'm still getting used to when they do it. I'm either missing completely at uh, sending them to trees and stuff and end up with idle, or I'm getting a lot of people stuck in the scenery <laughs> occasionally. Yeah, that happens a lot. Like, and where you... Like, I'm sure they used to be better at just kind of finding um, like stuff to do. It just feels like now that... Um, once they've kind of got to a certain point, they stop looking for new trees. I and mean, it may be that that's not the case, but it feels that way. The choice of the tree they go to seems to be quite curious as well when they finish one. I, I, if you take your eye off it, you'll find them wandering off in all different directions. It's quite, it's quite strange. Yeah, I guess it's... I know they were trying to work on the thing to really improve it, and I suppose uh, with all of these things, there's like a law of unintended consequences, and they end up 
you think that they've you've uh, resolved something, but actually it um, ends up making the situation worse. Just get a few more of those. I wonder what the population like. So I'm a little bit behind where I would like to be, but not hugely so. Uh, I've got eight fields. We're nine minutes in. I'm just thinking about phasing up. Just need to build another um, storehouse a little bit closer because they, they're walking quite a distance now. Um, let's build another house in there and then hope that they can. I'm well away though from having sufficient um, uh, what you call it, like sufficient wood to actually phase up. So, oh, my cavalry, let's. I wonder if Alistair's phased up. He tends to phase up quite early. It looks, based on his. Um, uh, the red outline of where his. Um, territory is, it looks like he may have done. So, that would be mean if he's done that. He phased up early in the last in the last game, didn't he? In the, well, in the first game. He did, and it didn't. It work it didn't out work that for way. him that time. No, so I guess it's um, it can go either way. I'm hoping. In fact, let's have a look. It will. This is going to be some sweet timing. I've got my barracks is going to produce some archers, which are going to head to this group of trees um, just up, uh, basically beyond the, the stone there and it will happen just as I phase up so my territory will expand allowing that to to go oh I've got archery um thing which is I haven't used damn it so yeah I should have used archery tradition by now because that is going to mean that my archers are better and they... ah, you're taking me oh Stop it. oh you were listening all along and you have phased up I knew it so yeah I, I could have told you that but I promised not <laughs> That's it. Well, that's it. Alistair's in trouble now. I'm not tolerating such dissent. Uh, oh, my archers. My brilliant plan with the archers has not worked whatsoever. So I've got skirmishers now, but actually it turns out skirmishers are a bit rubbish, so they're not of much interest. Um, so what is it about archers that are stronger now? Is it just increased rate of fire or increased rate of fire with the extra range that's making them so much more devastating now? So I, that's an interesting question. I'm actually genuinely not sure what the answer is to that. Um, I think they've had it improved, like their attack has improved um, somewhat, so it's no longer... Uh, but the, the actual pierce attack they have is is increased. It was a bit like a pea shooter last time. <laughs> yeah, and I think so. The damage that they do is more, but also I think they have had their repetition increased. I can't remember off the top of my head. I, I don't know. It's, I've got a spreadsheet where, uh, being as sad as I am, I did actually sit there and work out exactly what they'd done to everything uh, because I just really wanted to know and. That, oh, there you go, how's Jim? Hey. There's your moment. <laughs> right, oh, and he's, Alistair's bringing a, a cavalryman round, right? I'll be having that. With a couple of houses, get myself a... Um, yeah, we're going to have plenty, we've got a decent amount of everything, hopefully. Let's get all the upgrades start really motoring on I want to, I've got almost no wood now, so that wasn't so bright. Okay, so we've just found out the archers have uh, reduced range, but they have increased accuracy. And someone just asked to share the spreadsheet. I'll tell you what, um, I can actually do that. Um, though I think I can put the thing, uh, show, share the screen. So if, yeah, as I can, I will 
I'll try and do that afterwards and then we can discuss. Um, as it is though. I reckon everybody's on the edge of their seat for that, <laughs> that, uh, that reveal. <laughs> <That's> the yeah, <laughs> aren't they just? I know I am. I'm just... So Alistair's not, oh he's not playing as Carthaginian so he didn't get to make his, uh, his magic two-story house. So hey, that's disappointing for him. I am like, desperate for a market. I've got so much food, it's outrageous. And yet I have uh, almost no wood. So it's time. Although I'm now starting to um, get some going right. Oh, housed again. Oh, my word. There you go. And I'm not even building a house. What on earth am I doing? This is how uh, I, I, I think Borg should be made to play with me in his headphones because I seem to have a detrimental <laughs> effect on it. That's much... it. I am, I am literally the handicap in this game. <laughs> I'd say what I would say. I am, it's, it's quite calming. I mean, you were you were involved in that thing where Alison and I played each other and I found that really stressful <laughs> I was like you did sound like you were going to have some kind of a seizure at the end yeah. of that one where you got beaten quite heavily that was quite I know. <laughs> whereas now I feel like um, maybe it's because I feel like I've got a ready made excuse it's like oh, I can be rubbish it's fine uh, you know no one expected me to do well when I was chatting to Jim so <laughs> that's um, that's my th that's everything dealt with right, what are we the like? strangest We're... strangest thing about it i'll let you care but uh when alistair does his commentaries it's like his pulse doesn't doesn't yeah. increase at all i know uh, i don't know how that works i don't either i find it very very disconcerting frankly that he's able to do it um oh as a note i've just noticed that i thought persians had lost their uh what do you call it their bonus they haven't Persians also have a 10% population bonus. Um, which Do you has... memorise all these bonuses? <laughs> oh, is it like making those, really, like those, what do you call it, things. Uh, that did border on the obsessive, I've got to say, <laughs> to, to get yeah, into that much did. detail. Well, there was a guy that made them previously, but they were all about three quarters of an hour long or longer. <laughs> And so I started watching them. That was actually what inspired me to get started. I thought, I can't be dealing with this. Like, no one wants to, like, watch. And the other thing I found frustrating, like, it's going to sound awful, like I'm just having a go at the guy. I don't think he makes videos anymore. But he would also not do any research beforehand. So he'd be constantly surprised by what he found out. And I was like, surely you've looked at this before you started doing it. If you're going to offer people a guide to how a faction works, you can't have not actually looked at them previously um so uh yes yeah, so those things so i just wanted to make sure that i had as much information as possible because i felt um if you're gonna do it do it well i guess and make sure that they're they, and they're my most popular videos um still now i would think i've actually i think maybe oh this is it his cavalryman has suffered there we go you finally got him well done Moral victory, have, if nothing else. Vixen, yeah. Oh, and I can start to attack oh, these guys as well. Oh, oh this yeah. is this is going badly for you now, Alistair. Mm. I'm gonna move in on Alistair's territory. I need to get to phase three. What do I not have? Um, whatever it is, I want to get it. Oh, what am I short? 68 metal, oh my word. Oh, that's exactly as much as I can buy. Oh, my guys are getting a little bit overzealous, though. I didn't want them to run so far into Alistair's. Uh... Oh, that scared him, look at that. Yeah, he's bringing people back. I've got a lot of people coming in now. I need to build something there quickly. Let's get some towers, that will scare him off. And let's also get uh, some barracks in place. Ooh. So I haven't built, um, I want to get to phase three and I want to start getting my elephants going, because my elephant's going to be better than his elephants. 
as we've um, already established, um, I'll go and attack those archers. So, oh, he's running away. Now, unbelievably, I don't have enough stone. Let me get another temple. I think it'll be my third temple. So this is going to be a great front line while we wait for things to happen. I need to get you guys, get the women to come back and carry on chopping wood while everyone else builds a temple and then... Oh, look at that. It's all coming together. Look at this. It is. And let's get uh, an elephant factory. Uh, then, um, then we're looking good. Now I'm just going to be producing a lot of archers. So Alice, oh, Alice has come down the side. I did not see that coming. Which I should have done because there was no reason to think he wouldn't. Right. Let's get that guy going. So hmm. what was your uh, what was your sieve of choice in Alpha 23 then? Ptolemies. You were, to, you were definitely Ptolemies. At the yeah, end. I love um, I really like them, but the thing that I noted, uh, or I really noted when um, I started playing Alfred Voice, that they don't have the free houses anymore. It just absolutely threw me. Because my whole thing was based around, oh, it's free houses. They're free. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Um, okay, let's... Have I just... I don't know how if I've got enough people here to deal with this. Is he trying to take over my temple? He is, the little cheeky beggar. Get in the temple. And the rest of you get in the range of the temple as well. Because... What are you all doing? Salam. Slightly belatedly garrison the tower. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there's my elephant. Ah, okay. These are going to be the stars of the show. I take it. This is the uh, this, this is, is the it. master plan. Yep. Uh, they've taken a lot of hits already, but the plan is get them. Oh, Alice says, "Look at that! You see the way he's run to successfully lure my people in to be attacked and killed." Yep. Can't help but feel that there are additional. Um, I gotta say, I promise not to give too much away, but it is seriously in the balance. It's a yeah. lot closer, possibly, than uh, well, you I might think. think. No, I think Alistair's probably got something coming down my left flank that I'm not fully dealing with at this point. So I'm going to be uh, or attempt to be clever and see what happens. And I don't have sufficient what metal? You've got to be kidding me! How can I not have enough metal? Right, upgrade everything. Upgraded. Come on, the population maxed out as well. I need to get rid of some of these women as well. But clogging up my population. Oh, my elephants got bored. I forgot about them. Okay, let's go. You guys. Go 16. Oh! Alistair's elephants are coming. Okay, but I should have plenty of archers to deal with those. I swear those little elephants move faster. Look at them. They look a lot quicker than yours. Uh, let's come on, come on, get inside. Get inside the. Come on. Oh, 
What's going on here? I'm going to lose everything. Is he? See, I'm not convinced about that whole accuracy okay. stat with the archers, to be honest. Come on, it's an elephant. You can't miss it. It's yeah. Right. <laughs> well, so you would think. Come on, surely they can get that elephant. Ah, oh, what is going on? They're taking their time. It's the speedy elephant, Smith. I don't believe How that How could he go faster than an archer? Tell me that's not a fast elephant. Come on. Where's the... Oh, where's the justice? Right. They're on. Okay. All right. I, I've just tried to see see, but then got bored. Go. Like, <laughs> things are just like, well, what are we going to do? Come on. That elephant must be gone. Oh, he is gone. Good. Salam. These guys are collecting that. Why don't we get a fortress up? That would be fun. The rams have really got bored. They're just knocking down houses instead of the things that are actually useful to destroy. Oh, here they come. It's elephant time. Uh, come on. You've got to be ready for these this time, surely. You saw them coming. What happened to my elephants? Did they die? Uh, yep, they're very. Oh, his here. elephants are coming. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I did see them coming and then moved all my troops away anyway. <laughs> you know, well, and why not? It's more fun that way if you're completely unprepared to deal with anything. And they've just got distracted. Stop it. <laughs> my archers are just like, oh, I'll carry on that fight. But no, don't carry on that fight. Please, really don't. It's a contentious issue, Tom, but what is your opinion on the sounds in, in Zero Aid, especially the combat sounds? Uh, like, this sounds like a group good. of guys Morris dancing to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly less good than it was. My art. Oh, am I going to get these guys? This is what I do. Hey, I don't know how to get um my whatever they my women to just repair I wish I knew what that button was and I should just look it up but because they go into the um, civic center and they're like well I've got food to deposit so that's what I'm going to do I'm not going to repair it until I've deposited my food which just drives me mad there's so, a hotkey to overwrite that is there just to make them there is but what is it <laughs> like so I always think oh I'll just look that up and then never look that up Okay. I think well, this one's previously done. it was pretty close. Um, I can't say that now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, where are they? Uh, I need to just. I don't know what I need to do actually. Um, the ramps are still going. I know they're still doing a great job. He's not actually dealing with them at all. Uh, but these guys on the run, I've got no way of building another civic centre because all my barracks are gone. <laughs> What's going on here? He's got some heroes as well. Um, I've got plenty of population. What are my rams doing? They're still going. They're still going. That's insane. Um, I should just go. I need to just go in get a new kind of um, base together. That's the, I've got I've got a population um, uh, capacity at the moment because I've got no houses. 
of 20. I would be more worried about the population overall. <laughs> if I can just... I can't believe my round. The pathfinding there is dreadful. They've just turned back into trouble. All they had to do was carry on going round and they would have knocked out his civic centre. Well, I can, um, you know, well done, Alistair. You've, uh, oh, this is so frustrating. Come on, knock it out. Yeah, not, um, not following that attack was pretty uh, deadly. So, is he now? Now, he's built a civic centre where my one was. So he's got all my houses there. Cheeky. Guy, right. Got potentially, I can start producing stuff. I need people to. Oh, these guys are still. Aren't they little troopers still just collecting wood? I'm just going to knock down this storehouse uh, just to be annoying. Oh, I already had a barracks. I thought I didn't. Oh no, he's being mean. I do realise this is of the two games that actually finished. Kushites were victorious in in both of them. Oh, you've been very presumptuous there. There's a long way to run in this one, Jim. I, it, there's not. Well, far be it from for me to suggest that you're going to lose this. <laughs> you are so going to lose this. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever the situation is, it's going to be annoying for Alistair, that's for sure. I'm going to make sure of that. This is like Rock's Drift, only worse. This is... Like... <laughs> He's got a lot of yeah. archers there. And they're outside the range of my things. That's annoying. He's actually going to destroy the civic centre like that. Amazing. With archers. Yeah. And swordsmen and what have you. My. You've got a question. Presumably, if the, the CC fires arrows, that's going to be somebody in the CC with a bow and arrow. Why doesn't that have the equal range of somebody outside of the CC attacking it with a bow and arrow? Maybe their bows are better. Yeah. Um. I guess, well, I had women, unfortunately, inside the CC, and they don't... You're just being sexist now. That yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Right, my rams are coming to... Where's the Blimmin' Civic Centre? What's going on here? They can't even find it. Oh, there it is. So yeah, I could probably just uh, quit, actually. That's incredible that they're going to take it down with arrows. So, and he's took his, horse, his horsemen uh, running back to try and protect his civic centre. Right. I am going to uh, attempt the game against Alistair where I'm not, uh, not talking at some point to see if that improves things. But there you go. A little moral victory there again. One more. After he's built a civic centre to steal my uh, people. Ah, oh, that's... There we go. Well played, Alistair. Hooray. It was... Yeah, it was not very well done there. By me. It was well done. Oh, the hotkey for repair is J. If only I'd known that a little while ago. I oh, can't right, believe I was back. told to just resign. It's almost like it was done many, many minutes ago. Right. 
So let's have a look at Crusades the... are strong in this match. So Alistair was never in trouble. Look at that. All the way through the game. Well clear. Um, well, I, I don't know. There was there was one point where it sort of swapped over around about sort of just after 20 minutes. Yeah, in fact, you're absolutely right. That's the point I was ahead. Kind of between... Like I said, I was saying this is a lot closer than it looks. It just didn't it didn't pan out that way, unfortunately. At the end, no, it was all about those elephants that came through, and I I find that I do that all the time as well. Um, just see stuff and then don't react to it, uh, which is probably not a good trait in uh, a player at this game. You would want to not just go, oh, I've seen you've got loads of elephants coming towards my base. Well, I'll ignore those for the next few minutes because I'm sure they won't cause any trouble. Uh, and then I'll <laughs> and I'll carry on with my expansion here. But I took out your civic centre a few times, Alistair, so who's the real Yeah, winner? your siege came out earlier than mine. Like, yeah, that was... That's the only thing that doesn't show on this graph that you actually had a game winning object built much before mine was ready yeah because you got off to phase two very quickly from what i can see but then not from uh phase three mm. Ooh, borg is it in was the chat. infrastructure building that's what it was also borg is wanting to play a um a 1v1 against someone um Look at that. Oh, what's the best counter to elephants? Uh, Maxwell Hodge, the answer to that is archers. Sword Cav. Sword Cav. Oh, Sword Cav against Pac-Man. elephants. No, archers. Archers every time. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Okay, SWM says, the matches with Alistair are fun to watch because he has better micro and I have better macro. Full stop, in general. <laughs> so, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Abdodile. Is it a, That's reasonable. Yeah, Adel, Bloom fan, archers, um, or any range troops. So that person agrees with me. Um, I think certainly we could set up a, um, a thing actually where you just do it. Um, so can you guys just talk amongst yourselves very, very quickly? I'm going to try and do something really smart. Okay. Uh, you go for it. Ooh, right. Uh, that's me getting the um, the spreadsheet ready. <laughs> The anticipation is brewing. Didn't yeah, you, you laugh as though that's not exactly what everyone in the chat was looking for. Um, right, let's find it. Uh, right, Alistair, what is maybe archers? Yeah, against elephants. Sword cover just better are better against uh, mechanical siege unit, or not mechanical, but you know, wooden stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, question that, for you then, Alistair. What what currently is your favourite civ since? since alpha 24 and favorite is favorite which is sites, actually it's yeah, it's officially uh, here's the yeah, here's like, the challenge i've t-shirts. been trying to figure out if the the britons and the ghouls have been completely uh nerfed in this version they, yeah, if, but but there's been balance apparently what are they good at then what uh, if you had to play as britons and ghouls uh, what would um, be the uh what would be the the thing you could utilize best to your advantage Think. I'm oh, sorry, that was Alex's question. Um, but I think they have just been nerfed. Like they're just not. I think as... they're just bad in general now. Yeah. Yeah. Like they lack. There's not really much. Ghouls have got a bonus on their um, their cavalry. So I can't remember okay. exactly what it is. Um, I will check briefly. You can see the spreadsheet there, um, but I'm not going to translate any of it at this point. I'm going to leave you while I look up very briefly because I want to know what the um, the thing is for ghouls. Ghouls have plus 10% melee uh, attack damage for their cavalry. Uh, so that's their sword melee. cavalry. Melee, yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you see, when people say Australians are uncultured compared to Brits, uh, Whoa, whoa, I that, feel attacked. You shouldn't. I'm just saying people say that, and it's <laughs> clearly not true. <laughs> you can correctly pronounce Malay uh, under pressure, whereas I just saw the letters and was like, just uh, say what you see. Right. So, yeah, they've got um, basically 7.2 hack on their sword instead of um, 6.5 for an average. 
cavalry swordsmen. But that's mm. pretty much it. The big things that Gauls have lost, though, are the um, uh, the the thing with the houses, not the houses, sorry, the buildings where they got you houses. Oh, the population bonus is it for each? Yeah, so you don't yeah. get that anymore. That's a massive loss. They also lost the um, the rotunda, or what was it called? The the rotary mill, not rotunda. I don't even know what a rotunda is. Um, oh, right. So they've lost that. Okay. Um, and yeah, slingers are nerfed, so they're not anywhere near as good as they were. Also, now that everyone has packs of attack dogs with the Britons, though. From, yes, uh, that's true, Jim. That is good fun, but I've yet to find a, I've yet to find a practical use for that yet. Um, yeah. So I think you, now that that's the other thing, the attack dogs now available in phase one, whereas it wasn't previously. You had to build kennels mm, in okay. phase two, but now you can get it from the civic centre. Or is it from the barracks? Barracks, it's I think, from actually. The, uh, it's from the stable, actually, I think. Oh, stable. Okay, so okay. the thing is, you then have to build that, and then you're sacrificing what else you could be training from it. So it's... I think, actually, if it's from the stable, yeah. that's less of an issue. Uh, because, you know, if if there's not hunt around, then your cavalry aren't going to be doing anything that they would otherwise be. So you could have a position where, you, if they were coming from the barracks, you wouldn't want to stop producing soldiers because those dogs aren't going to collect wood. They're not going to collect food. They're not going to do anything useful. Um, whereas if, as I say, you've got no hunt, mm. then your cavalry also wouldn't be doing anything to uh, bone uh, for your economy. And the dogs can cause absolute mayhem. And one of my favourite things... They can. With, in the old uh, in Alpha 23, I felt if you just had a... Um, a war dog, you're, the very first thing you did was just run towards the opponent's berries. Yeah, it was super take out, Yeah, take out two or three women before they've done anything. And that at that early point in the game is, like, for something so simple. Anyways, can everyone see the, the spreadsheet now? Hold take on. that as a maybe. I'm definitely not seeing it. <laughs> is it not on the... It's on my stream. I can see the stream. I'd have to reopen that. Oh, hold on. I might be able to actually share it also through the, our video call. Uh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Right. I'll, um, so, yeah, you're going to be seeing it slightly delayed, I suppose. So it's going to be a bit weird for you guys because you'll be hearing the stuff and then it will come again on the actual screen. So you can see the the top. Uh, there's like a, all of these things down the left, infantry, cavalry, and then you've got the different types. Um, the top ones. Where are, are the, you sharing that too, Tom? On the stream. I, I'm definitely not seeing. I'm going to refresh that page a minute. Okay, let me see if I can. Do it. Uh, oh, ah, yeah, I got it now. I got it now. Yeah, like this is even better. That is that is impressive. I've got that is a thing of beauty there, dude. Well, I'm sharing it through. What's the deal the... with the colours. Oh, bad, good, neutral. Yeah, if you go, if you guys yeah. go into um the, uh, if you watch it through the the Hangouts chat, then you'll actually get it in real time. So I won't be talking, like clicking on things, and then you'll see it yeah. in a few seconds. Yeah. So I'm showing the screen there. But That's yeah, the, so the top um is the new stats, and the others are the bottom. Uh, the bottom are the old stats. And if it's yellow, it means it's the same. If it's red, it means it's lower. And if it's green, it means it's higher. Now, the issue with that is, um, I only realized this once I finished it, that some, like that implies red is worse. Uh, it's not always the case because right, if it's something not, like yeah. um, training time, you want them to be lower, not higher. So it looks yeah. like everyone's training times have got better. They haven't, they've all got worse. Um, so in this, in column R. So the training time for all um infantry has gone up by two seconds per um, unit and it's gone up by one second for um, uh, cavalry uh, the amount of food that they cost has stayed the same for all of them the difference now oh that's a mistake uh, and it's got a mistake it's like slingers do cost the same um, that's fine so there was a mistake in there with slingers ignore that so basically everything is cost the same and I had didn't put the, the oh no that's for oh have I put it in the wrong thing so this is all going awry hold on hold your horses uh archer slinger where are you no they were right it was a 
there weren't any mistakes. I managed to make some mistakes uh, in there. So cavalry, anyway, now costs less metal than it used to, but costs more wood uh, for sword cavalry. And also the Persians now have axe cavalry, which is slightly different. Um, that means they have a bit of crush damage and a little less um, uh, hack, I think. Um, no, it looks like their hack is the same. A little less pierce damage than they used to. Um, sorry, no, it's pierce armor. Uh, what do they? Their hack has increased. In fact, everything's increased. Wow, they're now better than sword cavalry, which they didn't used to be. Um, what else has improved? So yeah, archers have lost twelve on their range, whereas skirmishers have gained six. So skirmishers now actually can throw further than they could before. Slingers have lost a tiny bit of range, but their repetition has gone up by a quarter of a second. So they used to throw five little bits of stone um, in five seconds they now only throw four so they've got one less attack every five seconds uh and is that archers, pierce damage for skirmishes right uh pierce damage for a skirmisher 16 yeah which is the which is the one that knocks building that's crush isn't it crush yeah yeah, so, okay. so slingers have seen their crush actually increase from 1 to 1.1 1 .1, and okay. their pierce attack has gone up from 9.5 to 11.5 so that's so you would think from that that they are in a really really good place they look like they've been actually improved but it just goes to show that the, the importance of repetition because archers have got what's that under just over half the pierce attack um, but the fact that they do it so much more often and from a longer range means that by the time slingers get actually close enough to start firing, archers already got off quite a few shots and probably killed a few. And this business with accuracy, this is an unseen stat. Yeah. This is not something... Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, that's um, yeah not included. I don't actually know where that is in the code. I had to go through um, the, like the, the XML files to find... The, the templates for all of these other things. These were all hidden. They weren't written in the olden days. Um, but I will actually say 0 0.6, not 6. Um, so they weren't written previously. So I, yeah, I found them all in the, the various um, the, the game files. So you can see that now collecting meat, uh, our infantry now can do that as quickly as women, whereas before they couldn't. They were only just over half as fast. Okay. So in terms of farming, though, they're now, I think, um, I, that column's not actually been populated. So I know that they're slightly better. Basically, the difference between the sort of female villagers and the citizen soldiers has been narrowed. So you can see female citizens here, their stone collecting's gone up ever so slightly, stone and metal. So they're getting closer, whereas... Um, the infantry have lost a bit on wood, which means that although the, the female citizens remained constant at 0 0.7 per second, the they're now much much closer to the um, to the infantry than they were previously. And also, I think that their farming of the citizen soldiers has um, improved. Oh, what's I'm just seeing what someone said. Archers do have more damage. That's true. Um, they have improved the archers. I'm just trying to follow the thing. Yeah, SWM has exactly pointed out what Jim was saying with, yes, the accuracy has improved. Um, the speed has a direct impact on harvesting. Uh, yeah, so that's something else that's worth looking at. These have all been... The speed that people um, move at has all been much more uniform. If you look at how they used to be, they were really, really... They were different, a lot more different than they are now. Now it's just like... Mm. Um, are you cavalry? Fine. You go at basically 18. Where's that end? Your melee cavalry run at 18. Your other cavalry, uh, your range ones, go run at 15. Uh, that's just the only difference. Whereas previously it was like, well, anywhere between 17.5 and 21.1. Same for skirmishers. They've been slowed right down. Archers have been sped up. That probably also is a big thing for archers. They get into position much more quickly than they used to. Um, and they've all been aligned with what the slinger used to be. Um, sword cavalry have been slowed down and uh, spear cavalry and pike cavalry have been sped up. So 
there are yeah there are a lot of um quite subtle differences but when you actually so when it's all mapped out like this you kind of see well it it's all basically hasn't really changed all that much a lot of it's yellow i mean this whole column just hasn't been populated but it is all the same and that oh that bloody they that drove me mad the conditional formatting is like auto is guessing that it should um do it and that drives me mad it's like no i deliberately selected those cells to stop thinking you can second guess where i want the conditional formatting to go Right. Where are we? 100. This is going to descend into an Excel tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to descend with me having to go at Bill Gates for his Excel, thinking it's all that, thinking it knows what it's That's doing. That's why you use LibreOffice. LibreOffice is better. Uh, it it is, and I used to use that, but then my work, um, we all had to work from home, so we all got all the software um, installed. It's nature of pandemics. Yeah. We can't all deal with pandemics this, as well as um, the Antipodean well, nations as, as have. Yeah. We've right. had no pandemic problem for about nine months now. We've had zero cases. Well, you know, that will also be true of us in about 20 years. So we're just a, a bit ahead of the, oh, you get the, of the curve. The vaccine's getting out now, so like everything should be pretty good pretty soon. Uh, I've had the vaccine. I've had the you first have. one. I've, yeah, I nice. somehow got offered the AstraZeneca one. I think it was a, it was a cock up at the doctor's surgery. Oh, well, um, yeah. So I said, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, it made absolutely. me sick as a dog for really? two days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It right. was, uh, there you go. Right, my wife's having it tomorrow, so we're, we're off to the hospital to go and for her to do that for a, a lovely walk along the Thames. Be hopefully it's a nice hey. day. I don't really want to be walking along the Thames in the rain. Um, <laughs> but, um, coming back anyway, like important obviously as uh, vaccines are, uh, and uh, I'm you know if you are listening to the, <laughs> the chat and this is going to be the thing that makes you decide to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, you know. Your spreadsheet. You, if you want to see yeah. this spreadsheet in all its glory again, you want this vaccine. Yeah, you know, do it for your elderly relatives, um, <laughs> or and yourself. You won't die. Uh, so anyway, the yellow is most the majority of it. So you look at it and go, not much has changed. But the things that have changed are um, are, are not that big, but make massive differences. So. Skirmishes yeah. have been equalised between uh, cavalry and infantry, which is interesting. In fact, skirmishes are, yeah, they haven't really changed much other than they've just got additional range and they've lost that bit of speed though. Because I know that skirmishes used to be great if you had them just for scouting around the edge of your map, like your territory, you could look around. Now they're not use, useful or not any more useful than an archer or a slinger where they used to be if you were then and i think that's another thing that made archer sieves so not very good you know you couldn't scout as quickly you can't collect resources as quickly and that's the, the thing that i think was often missed with um with the speed the if you had if you were ptolemies for instance you basically your pikemen if you were only collecting wood and um food you had to use pikemen and they were slow as hell so they just would never collect any resources it would take them forever to get to and from the drop site so the fact that they've all been sped up and everything's been much more uniform now um, means that those kind of little differences are, uh, have just been been removed and I think it kind of goes on to something that I read I think it might have actually been a post that you made Jim on um uh, on reddit or was it on reddit or it might have been on the forum I'm not sure but someone was saying it felt like the the move between Alpha 23 and Alpha 24 was a move to basically make a lot of the factions be a lot closer together to work on the meta and get the whole kind of underlying thing working. And then there was going to be some kind of divergence because all the things that made certain factions so unique are kind of, um, as you can see with these stats, everything's been much moved much more closer together. So whether you've got a, um, a slinger or a skirmisher to start with doesn't make as much difference as it used to. Um, and the fact that everyone's got rams and a, fair, a few other things as well that have come in a lot like the Ptolemies no longer have free houses they have like um, cheap houses but so is it things. fair to say if you don't got archers you're in big trouble yes yeah, I, I think it is <laughs> like genuinely I played a game yeah. with 
um, with Spartans thinking like they used to be a good sieve. It's like, yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, and they were awful. Like, they, and to be fair, a lot of that was down to me. But the fact is they came with elephants and against um, the Indian elephants, which are really, really strong now, it was like just couldn't really take them down with only skirmishers, had no archers, no slingers, no nothing that had a bit more range. Um, and so it was very annoying. I'd say, I'm working to the assumption that naturally, because I am really not very good at the game, and if everybody says that there is the balance coming in, then I am looking for what the great equalizer is with each sieve, that there must be something that counters something else in every sieve. But I'm I'm, I'm seeing potential dominance with, with archers, and that, yeah. that worries me a little. Well, what do you think, Alistair? You seem to be good on the on the meta side of things. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think the meta game has switched much more to scouting. Like, if you scout with your horse and see that uh, the enemy hasn't built a stables, then they're probably going to rush archers or you know go a lot of archers. If you're seeing they have built stables, they're looking to counter your archers by getting real up close to them real fast. I just think so, that, yeah, the metagame is more about scouting now than it ever was, which is, I don't know, I like that. Reconnaissance and knowledge is power, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I've just that explains to... why I'm doing even worse than before. <laughs> <laughs> well, not based on your victory today, which was all down to your reconnaissance and scouting. Exactly, um, exactly. So just to answer a question from Patrick at Water, the numbers that are in the collection rate are how much you collect per second, which is why they're invariably somewhere between zero and one. So if it's at 0 0.75, it means that you'll collect 0 0.75 wood in a single second. So it will take you seven and a half. Uh, sorry, it will take you 10 seconds to collect seven and a half wood. Um, there you go. Oh, he's just said he's dumb. That's not true. Uh, anyone can ask a question. Uh, it's like being in school. There are no stupid questions, only I don't know what the end of that sentence is, but uh, stupid people, I don't know. Right. Um, we're back off <laughs> I'm the... I'm sure it didn't go that way. <laughs> yeah. There are no stupid questions, only stupid people. No, no, it's, it's, it's definitely not that. That is a great bit of philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, well... You know, uh, in fact, I'm going to check this out because I was discussing the Romans and Marcus Aurelius with uh, Alistair the other day. And yeah, he's not in here. He should be. He should be one of the people. They should have philosophers as the heroes um, for, yeah, for the or, Romans. Um, or something similar to how the Han Chinese are implemented in the uh, in the mods, like Delenda Est and the standalone Han Chinese mod, where there are administrators. They could be similar... Uh, Perform a similar role to an administrator. Okay, this is. I think they. Yeah, it could. I don't know what's what is. What do they do? Actually, I've literally never played like. They've got like an AOE that um, helps uh, a gather rate, I guess, and and maybe build rate as well. Um, Have I got this right? Yeah. In Delenda S, the administrator, you get a bonus if you're near him. So basically, there's yes. this guy stood behind you, the people telling him to hurry up. From what I visualized. <laughs> God. Yeah, or he's just like um, delegating the right tasks to the right people. I don't know. That's an important. Very, very part diplomatic of it. that way. Yeah, Patrick got <laughs> He's right. It is more apropos for the Greeks. But then um, the so I've realised that I'm having a conversation with you two while I'm reading stuff that is uh, been put on the chat. So yeah, like the Athenians, they should definitely have some philosopher heroes. Uh, but then. They're quite, you know, the, the people they've got are actually quite famous. Um, and Spartans, I don't really know anything about Spartans other than that film, like the 300, something like that. Um, with what's his name, that guy. That the, incredibly historically accurate film. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> they, he pushes someone in a well. Like, a, I thought they wouldn't do that. You know, this was just... Sparta, dude. That's what. That's how yeah. that went down. <laughs> it's mean. It, what, he, that guy was just a messenger. Like there is literally a saying about not shooting the messenger. That's a real you can thing. Kick him down a well. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you, it's a technicality. I still think it's not really acceptable conduct. 
not in a modern society, not if they claim to be civilized. The cradle of civilization wouldn't throw someone down a well because they delivered a message. That's 100% agree. Yeah, there we go. Brasidas is still a great hero, though. Um, just for you guys, I'm actually back in the game now. I stopped looking at the spreadsheet. I felt like there was only so long people could look at the thing. Um, it's now it's getting to 20 past 10, and to be honest, I'm quite tired. Alice, there's probably I'm going to have to call it a night it. soon. I've got a child to try and convince to go to bed now. So. Yeah, <laughs> I've got one that's hopefully in bed, but I should probably go and um, see uh, my wife and my family before uh, I do that. But thanks to everyone. I mean, actually, just before I do that, is there anything that you guys want to, um, yeah, just want to raise or anything that you want to ask if you've got any videos coming up that you want people to watch i'll probably have one out on sunday but i've no idea what's going to be in it possibly armed with the knowledge that i've just gained from this spreadsheet of yours which is going to revolutionize the way that i play <laughs> i might actually put in a decent performance in a 1v1 against somebody if my internet doesn't conk out again Okay, well, um, I look forward to seeing it. And for you, Alistair, obviously it's it's now time for breakfast, probably. Yeah, I was just going to say that uh, you should definitely go and subscribe to Zero AD Newbie Rush so that you'll be able to be informed of that video when it appears. Yeah, you should. And also, um, I would I say... I also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, you should subscribe. <laughs> I tell you, I'll put... I think this stream becomes like a video that people can watch afterwards yes, um, yes. so i will put both of you guys videos in the um uh, video sorry both of your channels in the description and i would also urge everyone to go and do you know, their great channels they um i think that we all cover kind of different stuff so it's not like you're just going to see exactly the same thing so um we definitely each have a completely different approach to uh advertising the game on our channels like yeah yeah <laughs> definitely completely different absolutely if you want to see someone just playing the game in the most relaxed manner ever while you get to look at them being all relaxed in the corner of the screen then alistair is definitely the one for you um and if you would like just excellent commentary um that makes the game really really interesting then jim has has you covered as well so go and yeah subscribe enjoy your zero ad and i think it's been um a lot of fun actually um oh i've been talking yeah. patrick out try to give the people the spreadsheet and discord oh i could get a discord what if, maybe we should get a discord i need to look at all these things um oh shocked pikachu says good morning alistair isn't that nice you fair um you've been wished a good morning it's how yeah. is it you know all the gangs to speak but you're not on discord man uh no i've got a, um, a discord i just don't know i, I chat to alistair on it that's that's all i do i don't know i got and one of my other i think friends. that's all i do in discord to be <laughs> yeah but when you said jim oh we should um we can do the voice thing on discord my blood just ran cold it's like oh my god i don't know how to do that i'm gonna look like an idiot um, oh, and here's me thinking I was I better take Discord because everybody's on Discord. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so, so it's just like oh, I've used Hangouts in the past. I assume that still works. That is so 2011, dude. What is going? Yeah. On? <laughs> it's only ten years old. Uh, yeah. We're watching YouTube. I'm having um, dinner just to keep um, like my son entertained. With some of the videos that have got like three billion views. Like half the number of people on the planet have watched this video, uh, and I'd never heard of them. Uh, it blew mm. my mind, absolutely blew my mind. And like I don't know, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they were when I was young, they were they were hip. They were a really hip band. Um, they've got like their newer stuff has got like a billion people have watched it, and yet Under the Bridge has got under two hundred million people. The views aren't unique. Um, if one person watched yeah. it ten times, it counts as ten views. But unless, you know, like, still so, huge. Yeah, how can five times as many people watched uh, the video for I don't know, like Californication? Actually, that's not even that new. But even newer things, and yet they haven't watched their like their ultimate song, their classic song. Um, right there, you go. I've been told to make a branded Discord. Um, I'm going to do that uh, if 
Alistair will show me how. Yeah, I can help you out, right? Okay, Definitely. lovely. I'll tell you what, I might even call you on Discord uh, to get you to talk me through it. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I've just been chatting random rubbish for like the last 10 minutes and stopping Jim from saying um, goodnight to his child. So, yeah, we'll do a let's do a discord server or something like that um and i think yeah it'll be fun to do this again when we've got it so we've got a bit more knowledge of the game so i will be doing uh, like a tier list once i've worked out it'll probably take a week or two um to get like the ordering um right with enough information about the factions to make it worthwhile and then once we um once i've done that and see if we can get everyone together again and said yeah we should try and get other people see if um valley is interested as well and yeah we can just try and um get some chats uh and some games and learn some stuff and do that so thanks very much everyone uh make sure you subscribe to alistair and jim's channels and uh well I will just do my usual. Sign. You guys can say goodbye first because I want to do my standard sign off and then actually press stop on the stream. Well, cheerio. <laughs> well, hey, Alistair uh, just can't think of some. Actually, Alistair, like you said. Yeah, well, I just wanted to say one more thing about oh, uh, Zero AD, and that's just to. Uh, Anytime you see any of the developers of the game, just be very nice to them. They've been under like a lot of stress with this release. Uh, uh, Stanislas Doslini recently put a post on the forum saying he's going to have to take a break for a little while now. One reason being because of uh, how much work he put into the uh, game and another reason being uh, a lot of the negativity that was uh, on the forums recently. And... Uh, uh, none of the developers deserve any of the negativity that they've been given recently. And uh, if we can counter that with a lot of positivity, it, it might go a long way into uh, making them realize uh, how much we appreciate their efforts into making this game for us. Was it getting a bit a bit beyond the joke with the negativity? Was it getting was it getting nasty? It was. It was. Yeah, maybe well, we don't want to see that, do we? Of... Yeah, no, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I, I, yeah, I absolutely echo what Alistair said. And I think, you'd say, it wasn't that it was nasty. I think if when people have put so much effort in, we, they do this all free. Like They're not being paid. They're dedicating this out of a love of the game. And they haven't, like, it just felt like people were going, oh, you've made my sieve rubbish. That's like you personally hate me. It's like people who took it on such a, uh, yeah a really personal level that was really not there it's like it's, people have done their very best they've made what is a really really different version of the game they've changed loads of stuff i think there are lots of things that are different some things are better some things are worse but on the whole they're going to learn from it and as um has been said as well it's a um yeah they are accepting feedback so go and give your feedback if you other people are taking that so so yeah, I completely echo what Alistair's said, and yeah, I think and just want to say thanks to the devs for producing this because um, to be um, completely just Patrick Atwell just asked, do they make any money? No, they don't make any money. Um, but if if Alpha Twenty Four hadn't been released, I probably wouldn't have bothered making any more videos because I was a bit bored, to be honest. So um, so this stream would never have happened. You would never have found out uh, that Jim's son is now probably three hours late for bed. Um, because he's listened to this for so long um, and you would not know about the vaccines or the spreadsheet so you the spreadsheet's would... definitely the highlight for me I think that's the yeah <laughs> that's where it's at. well that's good news so on that okay yeah someone has said fuck the devs and fuck the game so that person is not a uh, good person oh it was a joke uh, nonetheless yeah don't say that to them <laughs> Uh, they also said we love the devs and love the game so i think they're <laughs> um, playing <laughs> playing both sides of the debate um but anyway um yeah i'm gonna hide that comment i think the the one with swearing in is it's bad already hidden yeah oh it's already been deleted um so yeah anyway 
<laughs> if I was a dev, it would have been personal. Yeah, and it is. So, um, and just quickly, so have you got a, a new thing to open your videos with? You mentioned in your one of your recent ones that you wanted a thing that you were going to say. You just say, hello and welcome. So, yeah, hey. I don't know. Think of something good. Still thinking about it. Yeah. Um, yep. Well, think of a sign off now and then you're halfway there. Hmm. Okay. Alice oh, says that, that's a winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try harder. No, don't be mean. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. You, we're running out of time. <laughs> if they, this is going onwards. Um, yeah. Thank you to everyone, especially to Alistair and Jim. Uh, uh, I can imagine I've been entertained by uh, having you guys and having a bit of a back and forth. I think if it had just been me chatting aimlessly to a screen, it would have been far less interesting, not just for everyone else, uh, but for me. Um, and yeah, um, well, I hope we'll do this again in, in at some point in the near future. So absolutely. Yeah, totally. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. And as I always say, uh, obrigado e adeus. I don't know how to stop it now. That was weird to hear you do that live. Huh? Yeah, yeah. We're still broadcasting. Aren't we? I know. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't work out to press stop. <laughs> okay. I want to do the transition. Right. Here we go. Right. This time. Right. Obrigado e adeus. <laughs>